Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snatus where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our anatomy playlist. We have been laying the foundations of anatomy for a while. In previous videos, we have talked about skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia, tendons, cartilages, and even bones. Just the last video was intramembranous versus intracartilaginous ossification. Today we shall talk about the superficial bony markings, also known as bony features. Let's get started. Please try to watch the videos in this anatomy playlist in order. How do we classify bones? According to position, we have the axial skeleton versus appendicular skeleton. Your vertebral column is axial. How about my femur? Appendicular. According to a structure, we have compact or cortical bone, and cancellous, also known as spongy or trabecular bone. According to development, embryologically speaking, we have intramembranous and intracartilaginous. Recall that many skull bones are intramembranous and most of the long bones are intracartilaginous. According to the shapes, we have long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, pneumatic bones, and sesamoid bones. Today's topic, bony markings or bony features. We can divide them into four groups. Articular surfaces, bony elevations, bony depressions, the opposite of elevations, and some perforations. Let's start with the articular surface. Look at this. Here is the head. For example, the head of the femur. How about this? That's a condyle and that's a condyle. How about this part? That's a trochlea. How about this thing that looks like a cap? It's capitulum. What do you call the thing that is above a condyle? epicondyle. More on that later. How does this vertebral body articulate with the next, with the next, with the next? Via facets. So all of these are articular surfaces. That's why at the joint surface, what do you find? Articular surfaces, because joint is union between two bones, for example. So when two bones articulate with each other, we will see a head or a condyle or a trochlea or a capitulum or a facet. Next, bony elevations. We have linear elevations, rounded elevations, and sharp elevations. Linear elevation, the faintest is the line. Make it thicker, ridge. Make it thicker and more elevated, crest. Like the iliac crest of your hip bone. How about some rounded elevations? We have the tubercle, very small elevation. Tuberosity, bigger. Trochanter, way bigger and the classic epicondyle, again, because it's above the condyle. Give me some sharp bony elevations. Spine, oh, as sharp as a warm knife through warm butter. If you're not careful, and if you hit a spine, you can injure yourself. Hamulus, very similar, but has a hook. Styloid process is classic, and you find it near your wrist joint and your ankle joint. Next, bony depressions. Tiny depression is called a pit or a fovea. How about a larger depression, fossa? Does anyone remember the fossa ovalis of the heart? How about a linear depression? This is called a groove or a sulcus, such as the bicipital groove. We'll find this on the bone known as the humerus. Why? Because the biceps attaches there. Oh, bicipital groove for the biceps. Exactly. How about this one? That's a notch. Next, perforations. A hole in the bone is called the foramen. Your skull is full of foramina. How about a foramen upstairs and a foramen downstairs with a connection between them, like a long connection? That's a canal. How about a long cleft in a bone or between two bones? We call this a fissure. Not to be confused with Dr. Fisher. If you like this video, you will enjoy my surgery high yields course. Surgery is nothing but applied anatomy. In this course, we'll talk about trauma surgery, we'll talk about shock, orthopedic surgery, ophthalmological surgery, ENT surgery, pediatric surgical topics, etc. Download it today at medicosisperfectsnatus.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.